Hi everybody, Warren Woodward here. And today we have a comparison uh, between measuring devices. I bought a brand new Tenmars TM195, which is the same meter that was used in the Arizona Department of Health Services smart meter study. And um, I bought it to compare with a professional quality Gigahertz Solutions HF59B. This is the, the sort of device that they really should have used uh, if they were going to have a competent study. I don't think they could have found a cheaper meter than the 10 Mars. And what you're going to see in this, in this video is just how inaccurate this meter is. Now, we're out here in an environment of very low radio frequency. And actually, we've got the two meters set up inside of a cave, 20 feet inside of a cave, side by side so that you can see just how, uh, how bad this, this 10 Mars really is, how inaccurate it is. Now, the unfortunate part about this, too, is that uh, the person who owns this particular HF-59B actually told the health department this was the sort of device they should be using, and they should also be using it in conjunction with a data logger. Uh, but I guess they cheaped out because the HF-59B is, is about two grand, uh, and with the data logger, then it's about uh, four grand. So anyway, they got this cheap 10 Mars, and, and I'm going to show you in this video just how inaccurate it is, because after we, we leave this cave, we're going to measure a Wi-Fi router with the two devices, and then later uh, we're going to measure some smart meters. So let's go in the cave and see what we got. Okay. Wow. Well, we've got the HF59B at 0 0.02 microwatts per meter squared, and we've got the 10 Mars at 0 0.008 microwatts per meter squared. So there's a huge difference there. Let's go, let's go measure the router. Okay, there's our Wi-Fi router. Now I'm going to back out of this scene here and bring it back to the meters which are measuring away right below me. There's the HF-59B and the 10 Mars TM-195. You'll notice that I've elevated the 10 Mars on a cardboard box so that its antenna is at the same elevation and same distance away uh, as the HF-59B. Now, looking at the numbers on the screen, you'll see there's a huge difference in the capability of these meters to measure. The 10 Mars just isn't as sensitive as the HF-59B. It was just really the wrong device to use for a serious study. Another feature that the HF-59B has is it's got sound, and we can, we can know exactly what we're measuring based on the sound. You hear that? That's the unmistakable sound of a Wi-Fi router. The 10 Mars doesn't have that, so you can't really know for sure what you're measuring. The HF-59B makes different sounds for different sources of RF. In other words, a cell tower will sound different, uh, a smart meter will sound different. So there you have it. Okay, we have another Wi-Fi router here. And just in case in that last segment you were thinking, well, maybe your equipment's a little bit far away, or maybe you were thinking, how do I know the HF-59B is right and not the 10 Mars? Well, this time we have a different gigahertz solutions measuring device. We have an HF-35C with directional antenna and attenuator. And our equipment, the tips of the antennas, are exactly two feet away from the Wi-Fi router. And you can see that the 10 Mars is showing about 100 microwatts per meter squared 
and the HF35C, it's showing about 2500 microwatts per meter squared. You need to add two decimal points to these numbers because we've got our attenuator in right here. That's a $90 piece of equipment, believe it or not, that little attenuator, the silver thing. And we've got sound here with this, so we know what we're measuring. That's the unmistakable sound of a Wi-Fi router. You know, it's kind of like motorcycles. There are high-performance bikes, and there are mopeds. At $135, the 10 Mars is the moped. And the HF35C, it's about a $400 device. And the attenuator, as I said, is another 90 so it's about 500 bucks. Now, you might be wondering, why are the numbers bouncing around so much? Well, that's because the Wi-Fi is coming in waves. Okay, we have 11 smart meters there, and our equipment's set up. Uh, the equipment is six and a half feet from the closest smart meters and 11 feet from the farthest one. And I've got the HF35C with the directional antenna. Let's go see what they get. Okay, that was a good series of bursts. Yeah. Now you'll notice I've got the attenuator in right there. Wow. And what that means is anything that's showing on the HF35C, we need to add two decimal points to it. Both of these devices are measuring in microwatts per meter squared. Wow. The the poor 10 Mars is hardly even registering this stuff. There's our smart meters. There's our 11 smart meters right there. It's still going. Okay. I know the numbers in this segment have gone by pretty quickly, so here's that last burst in slow motion in case anyone missed what was going on. Note that the HF35C is showing 158 at its peak. That's actually 15,800 because we have the attenuator in. The peak reading that the 10 Mars got was just 112. If you want, you can replay this segment and pause the video at each burst. They will all be like this one with the 10 Mars barely registering the smart meter transmissions. Here's the bonus segment of our video comparison. Cell towers at sunrise. And there are the cell towers. They are about half a mile away. And you're going to see that it looks like nobody told the 10 Mars there's cell towers up there. It's measuring about one microwatt per meter squared, whereas you can see that the HF35C is in the 30s. The other thing, again, is that we have sound on the HF35C so that we know exactly what we're measuring. And that's the unmistakable sound of cell towers. You know, this cheap, inaccurate 10 Mars is not the only thing that's wrong 
with the Arizona Department of Health Services smart meter study. They got just about everything wrong. It's, it's really just a scandalously bad uh, study that they did. It's a fraud on the people of Arizona. I wrote a full report detailing every failing in the report. I urge you to read it. You can do a search online for a pattern of incompetence and fraud. Just put that in quotes, a pattern of incompetence and fraud, and my report will show up at a number of different websites. Thanks for watching. Over and out.